Hi there, my name is Damien and in today's demonstration I'm going to show you how you can add emojis to your automated flows in Power Automate. So this is based on a Windows 10 PC, there is a shortcut key which I'll share with you and then you can quite easily insert them into your automated items, your emails, your messages to Teams and there's even a, another little tip that I'll share with you towards the end. So without further ado, let's jump into the demonstration. So here I am in my Power Auto Automate flow, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to post a message to our channel. And we'll just go ahead and select that action. I'm going to post into a channel, like I mentioned at the beginning there. We're going to pick our team, which is my Demo Bard 365, and the channel I'm going for is my emoji channel. Now the shortcut key combination you're looking for is the Windows key and the full stop or maybe the, the period, if that's what you're used to knowing it as. But press those two together, and that will bring up the following bar of emojis. And then, quite simply, go ahead and select away. So we can go and type our message, and we can save that in order to send that message as required. The next thing I want to do is just to demonstrate creating an item. So we'll go ahead and create that item. I'm going to go and select my SharePoint list. Go ahead here and I'm going to go for an event. So this is going to be a football event. And again, using the Windows key in period or full stop, I can start typing in football. And there we go. It brings up my example emojis, which are now part of my title. I'll just put a space in there. And then the final one I want to do quickly is just creating or sending an email. And we'll just go for send an email action here. I'm going to send that to myself. Subject line, let's add some emojis in there. So again, man in the shades, he looks quite cool. And then we'll just go for the body of text. Hello, hello there. Check out these emojis. And again, bringing that up, we will put in some balloons for fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit save and test each of these three actions and just quickly look at the results and then I'll show you the other little tip that I've seen online which I think can make things a bit more interesting in Teams. So now that that flow is running if I jump into my emoji channel we can see here we have the happy channel if I have a look at my list, just a quick refresh, there we go, we can see the football event with our football emojis. And if we jump into our email, we can see, hello there, check out these emojis. And we have our balloons and our man with the, the shades. So the other little tip that I wanted to share with you is that you can actually include emojis in the channel names. So if you go into edit this channel, and again, insert your cursor and press the Windows key and the I, you can insert away. So if we want to have an emoji channel with some happy laughing faces and some shades, then we can go ahead and hit save. And that's exactly what we'll get. And so it might be an easy way for you to identify the type of channel that you've created within your team, if it's a social channel or if it's a more serious working channel. Anyway, something for you to explore, and don't forget that shortcut key combination. So the Windows key and the full stop, or period, if you are from America. Thanks again for watching, and if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers, bye.